In this section, we will understand how filtering works in Django REST framework. Filtering, as the name says, it is used to filter down the data. For example, we have like 100 employees and we want to filter only the software engineers from those 100 employees. We can apply filter on them. Other real world examples can be filter by price, filter by category, filter by size, etc. that you must have uh, seen in many websites like Amazon or any other shopping websites, right? So there is this library called Django filters. It's packed with everything you need to build powerful and flexible filters for your Django REST frameworks API. Using this Django filters library, you can easily filter on individual fields. You can also combine multiple filters, apply different lookup expression like I contains, I exact. If you have already enrolled in my previous advanced Django courses, then uh, you know what exactly I mean by I exact, I contains. LTE, GTE and all that. Okay, so these are all the different lookup expression and you can even create custom filters with your own logic. Okay, so this Django filters library is so powerful. In this and the next lecture, we will see practically how we can implement basic to even advanced filters for our APIs. Okay, let's start off with installing the package Django filters. For that, you'll have to go to Django filters. Okay, so Django filters, it is a very simple installation. You can just write pip install Django filter. All right, just always go with the latest version. Okay, at the time of recording this video, it is Django filter 24.2. So if you see a different version, just go ahead and install the latest one. All right, I'll copy it and I'll, I'll actually stop my server and I'll paste it here. Pip install Django filter. Okay, so once the installation is successful, then you need to register your Django filter in the settings as well. As you can see here, you should copy this Django filters and uh, put it inside the settings.py. Okay, so just uh, scroll up. And here you have to put Django filters. Okay, so this much is the configuration. And I have some filter use cases that we can apply on our employee model. So I want to apply three filters on my employee model. Okay. So instead of uh, showing you how filters works by running on random fields. So I think uh, this would be the great way so that you can easily understand. So in the first use case, I want to filter down the employees by designation, which means I want to retrieve all the employees with the designation software engineer. All right. So I will talk more about use case two and three later. But we'll first try to figure out how we can implement this one. We want to retrieve all the employees with the designation software engineer. All right, let's go back to our code and we have already made the configuration, right? So the way we use the filters in DRF, we have to set the filter backend for our project. Similar to pagination, filters can also be set as either the global filter or individual per view level filter. Okay, so we will set the global filter now. And you know what, how we can easily set the global filter just like how we did for the pagination class, right? So this is also very simple. What you need to do is just put a comma here and then inside a single or double quotation, just say default underscore filter underscore backends. Okay, colon Django Django underscore filters dot rest framework dot django filter backend all right you should write default filter backends django filters dot rest framework dot django filter backend so this will take care of the filtering for us and uh, mentioning this default filter backends which means all our views will have the support for filters now so once uh, this configuration is done, then we can go to our views.py. In here, we have employee view set, right? So currently all of our views will support the filters because we have set the default filter backend in the settings, right? So now what we need to do is we need to actually say filter set fields, okay, filter set fields, which is equal to inside a single quotation, we of course want to 
retrieve the employees by the designation right we'll say designation okay just say designation filter set fields is equal to designation and now if you refresh okay so we got the error that could be something to do with this default filters okay so i remember we have to put this inside a list all right now if you refresh again i think this error will go all right that error has gone and now you can see we have a filter option in this browsable api interface right so if you click on this filters and you can see it is giving us the designation okay so now we want to take out the software engineers right software engineer okay i'll submit it and you can see when i submit it you will see here that after employees we have a query parameters right D designation is equal to software plus engineer right now i have two software engineers in my database and uh, this one is very straightforward i just entered software engineer and it just gave us the result but what if i put software engineer like this lowercase submit and you see it is not giving us any result right so this means this only expects as it is right so in our database if it is a capital letter it will only expect that to be capital only okay so if i put it like this then it is giving us the result and if i say video editor submit and you see i have two video editors what if i say video editor okay no result right so this is where the custom filters comes in okay so this has the limitations right so this is this is not working if you put the lower case data right so if you want us to be handling the lower case also we want to implement something called custom filters okay we will see that custom filters in the next video and we will also see these two use cases okay so yeah i'll see you in the next one